I am attempting to build the greatest roster in WNBA history with NBA players only, so these NBA players will be put into the W to see how they perform. For every loss that we take in the WNBA with our team full of NBA players, I have to eat one bean boozled. And if you don't know what a bean boozled is, they give you two options of jelly beans per color. And one option could be liver and onions, one could be check cappuccino, one could be old bandage, and one could be pomegranate. You could have booger or juicy pear, stinky socks, or tutti frutti, dead fish, or strawberry banana smoothie. The list goes on and on. But there's one problem that I'm currently facing with my team. It's empty. I need to construct a full roster of NBA players and put them into the W. And how am I as Hamilton Hoops going to construct this roster, you may ask? Well, the only option I have is the ball and the hoop. I gotta shoot for the team. Let's knock that one down. Hey, it went in. Let's shoot for these teams. So realistically, I think we at least need five very good NBA players and an NBA bench, just any bench almost should suffice and be good enough to beat almost every team in the WNBA. That's just my thought. And maybe I'm discrediting the W, but I don't know. So hopefully we can get some really good starters here and then the bench won't matter too much. If I make it, I get a starter. If I miss it, I get a bench player. We know how this works already. I'm going to take Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi is a wonderful star. I really want to see like Jokic or Embiid in the WNBA. That's a miss right there. We get a bench player from Dallas. I think I'm going to take my big guy here. We're going to roll with Daniel Gafford. So we've got Kawhi and Gafford. I would really like to make this a very overpowered roster. So let's hit that one from Miami. Do I got to go Jimmy here? I think I got to. Give me Jimmy Butler. I'd love to see somebody like Luca or Shea on this team and see how they perform in the WNBA. We hit that. Ja Morant would still be a lot of fun. Let's take Ja. So we need our last player here. It has to be some sort of wing and then we have to spin for our bench. So let's knock this down and then get our bench. We're gonna take Steph Curry. We're gonna run Steph Curry at the two for fun. Now we have to spin for the bench. So let's get the bench out of the way. This is who our bench will be. Before we win, I wanna thank Aura for sponsoring this video. I receive spam calls almost every day and I've had family members fall for the dangers of spam calls as well. Whether they're rushing to the bank or using their app to try and pause all transactions that are going to and from their bank account, it is a very scary situation that could possibly ruin somebody's life. And personally, I think having something that can help protect people from the dangers of spam calls is very important. I remember the panic in my family member's voice the first time they told me that this happened to them. They explained to me that they talked to somebody pretending to be from their bank, telling Telling them that their whole bank account was compromised. They were told to either go to the bank or get on their app and freeze all transactions going in and out of their bank account to prevent any further damage from happening. You know, it broke my heart to hear the fear in their voice when they first told me this. The thought that one phone call could cause this much distress in somebody's life, it's very scary. That's why I've started using Aura, the sponsor of today's video. Aura helps protect me from these dangerous spam calls by alerting me when my personal information is being sold on the dark web and by data brokers. They automatically remove my information from data broker websites and help me take action if it's exposed on the dark web. This is especially important right now given the recent AT&T data breach where over 73 million customer records were released on the dark web. They recommend that those affected use strong passwords, monitor account activity, and consider credit freezes or fraud alerts from credit bureaus. Well, Aura does this all for me. And best of all, I don't have to download several different apps just because the company couldn't keep my data secure. If my info was compromised in the AT&T data breach, I wouldn't worry because Aura is always on and always doing the hard work of keeping me safe. I value my privacy and yours. So if you'd like to join, you can head to aura.com slash Hamilton Hoops to start your two-week free trial, or you can find it in the top link in my description. Once again, I'd like to thank Aura for sponsoring today's video. I would like to introduce to you the Dallas Wings. I removed all of the players off the Dallas Wings because they were the worst team in the WNBA, so I figured they don't belong anymore. So everything about these players should be pretty accurate, so let me know in the comments if these faces look anything like the NBA players do. Obviously, I can't add facial hair or anything like that, so this is the best I can do. But here's Jimmy Butler, Steph Curry, John Morant, Kawhi Leonard, Daniel Gafford, Paul Reed, Simone Fontecchio, Isaiah Stewart, Malik Beasley, and Marcus Sasser. And then we have two women on the bench just because I have to fill in the rest of the roster. Before we begin simming, I need you guys to comment what you think our record will be out of 40 games in the WNBA season. 38 and 2, 39 and 1, 40 and 0. There's a chance we could lose way more than that. And I'm really hoping that doesn't happen. 
happen. Shall we begin the sim? I would like to see how our first game goes before I even progress through the rest of the season. So we are going to just sim through the day and see how we do. Okay, we absolutely dominated. Let's check out this box score. It looks like Kawhi Leonard had a great game. Steph Curry, John Morant, both with double doubles and six boards themselves. Jimmy did solid. Paul Reed and Daniel Gafford are absolutely bigger than every person on the court. And then the rest of the team doesn't have to do as much because we are so top heavy with all stars. I think I have a good feeling about the way the season will go, but let's simulate through this date as well, just to make sure. Okay, that was only by eight. Skylar Diggins, Jewel Lloyd. Okay, so they have, a, they have a decent roster, a couple names that I know. We had another good game. Our guys are going to carry John Morant almost with a triple-double. Sounds like I made a demigod in this game. I have a comfortable feeling about this. Let's get it going. Through nine games, I couldn't have been more comfortable with where we were sitting. Steph Curry was hitting his normal threes. Jimmy Butler was also stepping out and hitting threes. Kawhi Leonard couldn't be stopped on this pick and pop, but that was all until this happened. We just lost our first game to the Phoenix Mercury, and I honestly was kind of thinking we were going to go through this untouched and now i'm nervous so we've got to we've got to eat the bean boozled here okay so we are going to spin the spinner here here it goes and it looks like it's on the line spin it one more time oh gosh what is that that is pomegranate or old bandage pomegranate or old bandage is what we have to eat now so let's find that one out my guess would be that it's this one right here so we're going to roll with that one and i hope to god this doesn't taste disgusting man trash can on deck water bottle with flavored water on deck jelly bean it's not going to focus jelly bean is on deck here it goes It kind of had a fruity flavor though, but it's got a really disgusting like hospital flavor. Honestly, it could have been worse. That one wasn't that bad, actually. I'm so thankful that wasn't that bad. That could have been terrible, but we escaped with a pretty decent one. Cause you can get some very bad ones in there and that one I was able to swallow at least, so. What do you mean by that? I would say if the last one wasn't our toughest task, this one right here may be. And we still have to go through the aces who have Asia Wilson and Kelsey Plum and probably other people I can't think of. But this one may be our toughest task yet. They have a very stacked team. I'm scared for this. Now we kind of need threes. If we're going to foul, we need to hit threes and play the we get one more point than you do kind of game. Steph Curry, pass the rock, bro. Oh, gosh. That's not good. Oh, no. Once again, we foul. We have to there, though. Gosh, this is not... Please give me a good one, man, because we're going to lose this game. This game is over. She hits both. Now we're down eight. This game is over. We're going to sim the rest of it. And there it is. We lost by 10, which is another jelly beast. We have now suffered back-to-back -back losses in the WNBA. This is not looking good for us. I'm getting my phone ready to record, so here is our next jelly bean spin. Let's get it started. Our next jelly bean, spin, jelly bean spin here goes to, what is that? Cappuccino or liver and onions? You've gotta be kidding me, bro. I think it's this. It smells good, boys. It smells good. We gotta get the fixins ready. We've got the trash can. We've got the water ready. Oh my gosh, I am not ready for this whatsoever. This is going to be disgusting. Gotta do it, gotta do it, gotta do it. Three, two, one, go. It's stuck in my D. It's in my T. Oh my. It's stuck in my D. It's stuck in my D. I only bought these because I was trying to prank my mom to eat one one day. I never thought that I would actually eat any of these, but here we are. I'm kind of frustrated with the way this is going so far, so let's just... You're kidding me, dude. You're kidding me. What is happening? They're all tired. They're all gassed. I just burped liver and onion. I just burped liver and onion. We took a loss to Cameron Brink in the Sparks. Is it our coach? Should I fire the coach? Three straight losses, three straight jelly beans. This is going worse than I ever expected this to. I thought we were gonna maybe eat one jelly bean in this entire video. 
No, we're out here just munching on jelly beans. So here we go. Here's the spin. What is that? Booger or juicy pear? Luckily, I eat my boogers. So what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Ju this should be fine. Either way, I'm getting a treat. I'm getting a sweet treat either way. I think that's correct. Is it not? Let me know in the comments if that's correct. I think that's it. Please drop a like and subscribe to this because I am torturing myself at nine in the morning for this. Nine in the This is my breakfast. I'm eating liver and onions and old bandages and possibly boogers for breakfast for you guys. Hit that like button, please. Here we go. I'm nervous, bro. Three, two, one, and... Juicy pear. Juicy pear, absolutely delicious. I'm getting my fruits in in the morning. So nervous. We got a W. <sighs> okay, we move on. We escape. <clears throat> What is happening? I thought I was gonna put NBA players in the W. This would go much better than this. What is happening right now? It's gotta be the, co I'm firing the coach. I am firing this coach right now. I'm done. I'm firing this head coach. There's no way we should be losing. We haven't even played the aces. We get the aces back to back, bro. We still have to play the Liberty again. There's Caitlin Clark right there. Dude. The Sparks again, the Sparks seem to be our kryptonite. We get the aces again, the Liberty again. Dude, we're done. We're done. I'm eating so many jelly beans today. I'm throwing up so much today. You guys are just gonna get a complication of me throwing up. I think I'm gonna fire or hire Tamara Bass. So we're gonna fire you. I just don't trust you anymore. Where's Tamara Bass? Tamara Bass is becoming our new head coach. Great potential. Basketball IQ is solid. The charisma is great. Offensive and defensive coaching isn't great, but I can't find anything better than a three or a two star in either of those categories. So it's fine. Let's go. Come on in. Welcome to the squad, Tamara Bass. Let's get it started. It's a new season here. We're turning it around. We're not missing the playoffs. Why does she look like she smokes 10 packs a day, bro? What is up with this? No disrespect to you if you're a real person or not. I don't know who you are, but no disrespect. But bro, 2K did you dirty with that one, dog. 2K did you dirty with that one. I still gotta eat a bean. There we go. Got the spin. What are we on? Tutti fruity or stinky socks? Tutti fruity or stinky socks? Here we go. Three, two, one. Tutti fruit. That's delicious. Tastes like bubblegum, low key. That's phenomenal. We keep it pushing. New head coach. New regime here. LA has our number though. We haven't beaten LA once. Hold up. Hold up. Have we? No. We haven't beat LA one time yet. New regime here in Dallas, though. And the new regime wants to get W's. And they do get W's. The new regime gets W's. That's what we're talking about. We move on. The Phoenix Mercury. Not even worried about you. God. Dang. Oh. I'm just going to... I'm going to do it all at the end. We're just going to... We're going to move through the season. So right there, that was our fifth loss. So we have to eat one plus whatever the rest of the season bro what did i do six dude you guys are i'm gonna die i'm going to die john morant makes the nba all nba first team or sorry all wnba first team we get steph curry and jimmy butler on that team the defensive team we get john morant and then nobody else we went 28 and 12. now are we counting playoff losses as well because if that's happening i'm eating way too many jelly beans i'll decide in a second so literally i had to count five and anything after it is that what i said so seven beans is what i have to eat right now seven be seven more jelly beans this whole good run is not going to continue to happen i'm not going to record every single spin you just you guys just got to trust me we're gonna go that one's on chew or uh, juicy pear and booger again i don't know i can't spend all day digging for gold here this one looks like it may be the booger or juicy pear which is what we landed on three two one I don't even know if that was booger or not, but it wasn't good. It was nasty. Next one up, <sighs> toothpaste. Next up is toothpaste or berry blue. Three, two, one, go. 
toothpaste. Tastes phenomenal. So out of the seven, we've taken two, five more left. Let's go. Boogers again. I literally don't think I have another booger. All right, three, two, one. Oh my God. Oh. Ugh. What am I doing to myself, dog? Next one, we have four more left. Juicy or booger again? Is this booger? I don't know what this one is. This one I think might be booger actually. I think this one is booger, maybe. Don't know. Three, two, one, down the hatch. Yeah, that's peach. Three more left. Don't have the, the toothpaste one anymore. Oh my God, this is bad. Toasted marshmallow or stink bug? Toasted marshmallow, stink bug? That may be the worst one we've gotten yet. After this one, there's two more left and then we have the entirety of the playoffs, dude. Okay, please give me toasted. I don't want stink bug. That might be the last one I want. Down the hatch, three, two, one, go. Marshmallow, marshmallow, oh my God. My heart is pounding. Next one, two more left. Butter popcorn or rotten egg? This could be bad. Butter popcorn, rotten egg, down the hatch. Oh, I don't want the rotten egg, man. I've had it before one time, nasty. Three, two, one, go. Butter popcorn, bang, bang, bang. Let's go. Last one here, butter popcorn, rotten egg. Butter popcorn, rotten egg going down the hatch. Please give me a butter popcorn for the win here. Last one, let's get it. I think I'm gonna throw up. That's so bad. All right, we knocked the regular season. <laughs> we knocked the regular season out. Now we only get to play the toughest teams in the WNBA. We got Seattle in the first round and our two most losses came to the Mercury and the Sparks and they're on the other side of the bracket. So as long as they get knocked out, we're good. The only other team I don't wanna play is the Liberty. I feel confident against the rest of the teams in the W. So let's get it started. Our first game is a loss. You're kidding me. I'm just gonna go series by series. That's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna eat whatever jelly beans I have to eat in that series. Let's go. It's two more jelly beans, two more jelly beans, and I'll eat a third one because we didn't even make it to the finals. I'll eat three jelly beans. I'll do it for you guys. Drop a like, hit that subscribe button if you're new. If you want more videos like this, let me know. More to come, of course. Let's get it started. All right, spinning, toasted marshmallow or steam bun. I don't want to do this. I do not want to do this anymore. I, uh, I have three more left. I do not want to do this anymore. Let me repeat that. I do not want to do this anymore. Stink bug, toasted marshmallow, going down in three, two, one. Two for two on stink bug and toasted marshmallow. Let's go. Oh my God. Oh my God, two more left. Two more left. This video could have gone way worse. I've eaten more jelly beans than I entirely expected to, but I've had a lot of decent ones. I think I'm pretty even. Tutti Fruity Stinky Socks. We can do this one. Tutti Fruity Stinky Socks going down the hatch in three, two, one. Tutti Fruity. Oh, let's go. We're gonna take a chew break real quick and just sim out the rest of the playoffs. And the Aces won it all against the Sparks. I probably would have lost plenty of games to the Sparks. So shout out to Asia Wilson. Last jelly bean here. It's either birthday cake or dirty dishwasher. One we have not had yet. And I believe it's this one because it looks like a birthday cake. Birthday cake or dirty dishwasher. Last jelly bean going down the hatch in three, two, one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That was phenomenal. Now I might stream with these and do every game we lose in 2K in the Pro-Am or whatever. I gotta eat a jelly bean, but we'll see. You guys let me know if you guys wanna see that kind of thing. If you like the video, please hit that like button. I appreciate all of you. That was the worst thing I've ever done, but honestly, I'm so happy it went as well as it did. Those last three jelly beans tasted phenomenal. So I'm gonna go eat some real food now, get some food in my belly that's not stinky socks or dishwater or booger or 
rotten egg or liver and any of those those are absolutely disgusting i appreciate all of you drop a like hit the subscribe button if you're new more videos to come deuces